I feel like Bruno's part cat because when Bruno gets overstimulated, he will like do what cats do. See, he cute. Thank you, Franco. You getting gray hair? None of that. Bruno has to live until I perish. There's no like negotiables. So I am, I'm anticipating him to live like for the next 60 years. <laughs> like, I think, I think before he reaches like 15, there will be like technology where I can like do that. I do, I do feel like that will be possible. I don't need to live forever, but Bruno does <laughs> until I go. <laughs> Ew. Oh no, what is that? Do you hear it? Oh. Why are you yawning so much? Do you want to go somewhere? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, like... I do not want to live forever. I'm good. I'm totally good off of that. I don't think that would be great. I think that would be sad. Everybody you know at some point will be gone. And... I think in theory it sounds cool, but I think there's a reason we don't. I think if you live forever, then why would you ever appreciate being alive? Right? A hundred percent. I need to start living more. I've been like kind of stuck. Like I don't know what to do. I need to like make decisions. That's what I should be doing. It's really hard deciding things in a world full of stimuli. This is how we sleep. wakes me up a lot. <laughs> it's like really annoying. What? Bruno. Bruno. He's literally like, let's sleep. <laughs> I'm ready. It's so hard. It's so hard. I keep making this, like, I, I keep going in this cycle of decisions. I'm like, I'm going to get a job. And then I, like, work on that for two weeks. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I don't know if I want to do this. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to do my YouTube channel. And then I'm, like, doing the YouTube channel, but I'm not, like, investing in it. And I'm like, I don't know. It's just, like, I think I've kind of, like, narrowed down what happened. I don't... I don't think I realized like how toxic my last work environment was and it's because I had so much going on in my life that I didn't really realize it until I realized it. But like when I started working at that job, I was so confident in my decisions. I was so confident everything was going to work out. Even when I was like going through like the worst things, like and I lost everything I own. I was like, it'll be fine. But the people I was working with are not confident people because of their own reasons. I don't know them like that, but like they didn't understand that. So they would be really negative. I would be like, this is happening. You know, I need this time or like, this is like, I'm getting burnt out. Like I have to focus on these things. I have to have like work-life balance and they would gaslight me. And it's hard because I was one of the top 
people at the company and I was really happy there until that started happening. And so you kind of like romanticize the stability that you had. And I'm trying to remember the negatives because the negatives are ultimately why I left. But those negatives made me question my ability to make decisions. And so now I'm having to be like, okay, where did this stem from? And was there truth in it? And there's no truth in it because they didn't know who their identity was. We got sold three times, went through three different culture, um, like evolution changes. And I was only there for three years. Like that's crazy for a company. And so because of their lack of identity, they didn't like that I knew my identity. And it's made it harder for me to figure out like what I want to pursue because like whatever I want to pursue... I don't care who you are, if you really want to do something, if you really are passionate about it, you will do it. You will find a way to do it. You will have a plan. And I keep formulating these plans, but then I'm like, oh, I don't know. And I've never questioned myself before, ever. Like, this is like a new phenomenon. And I think a part of it's getting off of my ADHD meds too, because it like changes my, like I got on them for that job. And then I got off of them when I quit the job and I wanted to get off of them. But now I'm having to like relearn how to think. It's like crazy. It's hard. It's super hard. And it's, I think what's the hardest part for me is that like all I ever wanted was to like be the best and have like security at a company. And I achieved that. But then it was like when they gaslit me, they promoted me without no pay increase. So my job got way harder with no income to supplement that. And inflation was going on. And so that's when I, ended, I decided to quit because I, w- I didn't ask for that. I didn't want to be promoted, especially if there's no pay increase. I don't want more responsibility for less pay. And um, I think it's like, I forgot what I was saying. I just have like a seizure I think it's just it's just hard to like it's not hard I gotta stop saying that it I think I'm just like trying to figure out how to cultivate a desire for what I need to do if I want to get a job I have to be committed to that if I'm committed to it I do it very easily but when I'm not committed to it it's difficult Right. So like I don't feel committed to anything. And I think that's because. I don't know. Um, no, James, I'm not. I don't know, like what your problem is, though. Yeah, it's all about figuring out what you want to do. I mean, this is just like a part of understanding life. If this is like too much cognitive thought process for you, I totally understand that. But this might not be the right place for you. Um, we have high IQs here. We think about things. Sometimes it goes over other people's heads and they lash out, so. (laughs) Parker. (laughs) Um, Well, that was the plan was to work for myself, but then it's like, I don't know what I want to do. I had to recover. I mean, I've been like, I've been sustained for a year like I've been chilling but now I'm like okay I need to be making progress on something I think a a hard part of it too for me is that like I'm an overachiever so for me once I get to a level of success and then I'm there for a bit I'm like this is it like 